Hey, what's up everybody? It's FIFA 11 Skills Fan here, or Leechman. And uh, this commentary is going to be very... Well, not, not even different from what I've usually done. It's going to be more of... Yeah, it's going to be a bit judgmental, as a matter of fact. I'm going to be making a few judgments. And no matter how much we say don't judge people or stuff like that, I... I, I think there comes a point where people have to be told what they don't want to hear and people have to be told what they fear the most and people have to be told about things that can change them that they don't want to accept and I feel that it's about time for people to realize this so um I was watching Boy Meets World and it's the episode where uh Sean is talking to uh, John about his future and stuff like that and John if y'all know the show is his teacher his English teacher and is trying to get him to figure out what he wants to do with his life and stuff like that and so Sean feels lost and then comes along this place called the center and it's basically a cult trying to get together lost souls and it's, it preys on the minds of the young adolescents who are still finding themselves and it uses that as a way to attract them so he can use them for his own whatever goals they may be and this got me thinking and I just it it's a sad episode because at the end of the episode Sean um, John John gets into a uh, accident and He's in the hospital. He had got into a motorcycle accident, and he's in the hospital. And it's a really hard, heartfelt episode, and, and it's just, and it got me thinking. It's like we're all searching for something in this life. We're all searching for something, no matter how much we, we would like to think we're not. We are chasing after something in our lives. There's an empty void in each and every one of us that we're trying to fill. Now there are multiple avenues to fill this void with. I mean. People use drugs, people use alcohol, people use all kinds of things. Even sometimes people use video games that we play, like the one on TV. And they use it to fill this void of emptiness that they feel. This void of not knowing who they truly are within themselves. And that emptiness is there for a reason. That emptiness is not just so you can pass it by the wayside. It's not just so you can skip alongside it and just say hey it's not a big deal I don't really need anything because all it takes is one person to to act not even actually fit, care about you just act like they care about you and it fills that void for a short period of time which is why we see on the news and if you guys remember the thing that happened at Waco where all those people killed themselves because one man told them a false truth because one man just let them astray because one man filled a void in their lives because something might have happened to them and they had an emptiness within them and this emptiness no matter how much you try to pass it by cannot be taken it's not something that you can just pass by it's not something that you can just say I'll deal with because at the end of the time by the time you figure out you're dealing with it, you're using drugs you're using all these other things that you don't need to be put in your life you become a whole other person than who you were originally were and it's just not something that you need in your life to be able you need something to fill that void you need something to replace that feeling of emptiness feeling of being lost feeling of I don't know who I am now then again I'm 20 I haven't lived life that long I've only been alive for two decades which in the in the short scheme of things is not a lot to a lot of people but to me it's a lot and I've seen a lot of things there's a lot of people in this world who are just lost who don't know where to turn to who don't know who to look for and I just have to say there's grace there's mercy there's love there's a place you can go to look for there's a place for you you don't have to feel lost. You don't have to give in to this emptiness that is within you. You don't have to give up who you are 
for this emptiness. You don't have to let this emptiness control you. You are unique. You are special. Don't let anybody take that away from you. Don't let anything take that away from you. You are you who you are for a reason. No matter what hardships you may be going through. You are who you are for a reason. God bless y'all. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.